Okay, let's get started here. Thank you again for all coming today to uh, check out our webinar on the five key points of why sampling. So here's the agenda for today. We're going to talk about who is sensor sampling. We're going to review the five key points of why sampling. Those five key points include environmental regulations, operator safety, collecting a representative sample, minimizing waste, and lastly, minimizing cost. So who is sensor sampling? Sensor sampling systems was formed from the core SOR controls group, which you're all familiar with. It is a manufacturer of closed loop sampling systems, liquid and gas sampling system. And these products leverage the reputation of SOR as a source for high quality engineered to order products used to ensure process safety. Um, I would like to say that um, I'm very happy to be with this company. As you may or may not know, I started in June, and I have been in the sampling business for over 25 years. Uh, my former uh, employee was TSI, or you might know them as Texas Sampling, and they are a CERCOR international company. I had many roles in that company through the years, but my latest role was being the lead engineer for Texas Sampling. Uh, also, we have with us at Sensor, Patrick O'Neill. Patrick uh, is our operations specialist. Uh, Patrick was also the shop foreman for Texas Sampling for over 20 years in the manufacturing of sample systems. And Patrick is a master journeyman when it comes to tube fitting and building of the Sensor sample systems. And he's also very proficient in CAD and does a lot of our drawings for our systems. So the five key points of why sampling. Number one, environmental regulations. Mandated by most governments worldwide to reduce emissions to the air, ground, and water. Operator safety. Exposure to the person taking the sample whether a breathing hazard or a skin exposure exposure concern. Collection of a representative sample, ensuring the highest quality, highest media quality and accuracy when collecting sample to verify the process stream matches process specs. Minimizing waste, no need to take a large sample and dispose of most of it when only a couple of ounces or even in some cases, a couple milliliters needs to be collected. Minimizing cost while doing it right, allowing the experts here at Sensor uh, to, to design and build the grab sampling, uh, building it to a specific design that we can stand behind while also providing a low cost solution. So let's start with environmental regulations. Why regulations for grab sampling? Many processed liquids and gases are not only hazardous to the operator taking the sample, but can cause environmental issues if allowed to make contact with the ground or to vent to the atmosphere. Leaks and spills and releases of vapors to the atmosphere can not only be bad for the environment, but can cost the customer hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines and cleanup fees. EPA regulations and other regulatory bodies of most governments worldwide are continuously regulating additional chemicals that have to be sampled uh, in a closed environment type of closed loop sample. Plants are continuously looking at ways to reduce overall emissions for the whole facility and grab sampling is becoming a very high visit visibility area for emissions. Next, we have representative sample. And what is the importance of a representative sample? It's extremely of high importance of monitoring the accuracy of chemicals through the refining, mixing, and adding of components in a facility like this. Customers who are buying these products demand the highest quality. 
and they need a way of collecting that sample to ensure it is of the highest quality. Uh, many refined chemicals are utilized in the plant to produce other products and also require the highest quality. Without proper designs of grab samples, uh, you can actually have those grab samples give false information to the lab due to stagnant lines, improper flow, or phase change. So it's very important that what is actually being collected is representative of what is in the line or in the vessel that the operators are trying to obtain. And let's keep in mind that with the grab sample station, uh, we are we are the one of the only places where an operator is coming intimately close to uh, that product that they're trying to sample. Um, accurate and repeatable sampling is a must for proper analysis. Um, not collecting it correctly can cause major issues for analysis. Uh, increased accuracy ensures streamlining of the process, which in turn means uh, additional cost savings to the customer, essentially paying for the grab sample station itself. Minimizing waste. So why minimize waste? Most chemicals in the facility have to be continuously monitored, whether they're stored in a tank, whether they're flowing through a line, they have to be continuously monitored in some way. Additional product that is collected has to be properly disposed of or somehow returned to the process line. They can't just pour that down the drain in the lab. They can't pour it on the ground in the facility. It has to be properly disposed of. So we want to minimize the waste or the additional product that's being sampled as much as possible. There are increasing regulations on what can be sent to the flare line. Flare line monitoring and sampling is becoming a very hot topic in sampling. Reducing the amount of sample collected to only what the laboratory requires to do the analysis ensures minimal waste. Designs are available to collect only what is needed in an appropriate size container from as small as two milliliter vials we can uh, design a system that only collects exactly the amount needed to minimize the waste. And lastly, minimizing cost while doing it right. So how can buying from sensor minimize the cost? Um, a lot of customers will say that they can build it cheaper. Well, sensor has experts who know the do's and don'ts that can save a lot of money. We have years of experience working with customers to provide sampling solutions that are safe, reliable, and proper for each of the applications. Our knowledge of the right components and accurate designs ensures we can produce a quality product at a lower cost that meets those specific requirements of that application. Customers who try to design and build their own grab sample stations average a much higher cost due to engineering design hours, producing and procuring uncommon components, as well as building the actual systems themselves. So I know we know we have competitors, but one of the main competitors that we deal with quite often is the customer themselves. So I wanted to add an additional slide here to kind of talk about what all goes in to producing a grab sample station. So if a customer ever was to say it costs too much, we can actually make that thing here cheaper. Uh, I want you to have a little bit of understanding of what goes into uh, a grab sample station. So you have the cost of an engineer's time to design a proper sample station or a grab sample station for an application. Then you have the, the, the cost of the design CAD operator to actually draw up that system, including uh, all the components that go into it, and the sizing, the, all the layout of that. Then you've got the cost of someone purchasing ordering 25 parts, up to 25 parts from 20 different vendors to go into one of these grab sample stations. 
you also have the cost of all the components themselves. Uh, then you've got the receiving guy's time to uh, receive those parts in and inventory those items. Then you've got a planner's time to schedule someone to actually build those systems. And deciding who actually has the time in the facility to put all those components together and build the system. And then also, you know, will this system look like the last time? If a different engineer designs it the next time, will it even look like the others that were first built? And then someone has to write operating procedures and produce some sort of an installation uh, manual. So there's quite a bit that goes into uh, one of these sample stations that a lot of times our customers don't realize. And that's some of the items that we need to kind of make them understand that will in greatly increase the cost if they try to do one of these themselves. So here are our basic five sensor sampling grab systems. Um, as you see here, we have bottle type systems and we have cylinder type systems. Um, we always are working on new products, and we have some new products that are currently in the works that are coming soon. We're very excited about. Uh, sampling is growing. I can guarantee you the sensor sampling is taking off like wild, like wild flowers. Uh, sampling is growing, and we want you to be a part of that growth. So please reach out to us.